All right, you guys, so we're working on these recipes with our food processor, and so here's another really quick one for you, um, especially for you gluten-free people out there. So this is really quick. Check it out. So put your bowl on, put your bowl on the, on the thing, put on your main blade. You've already watched video one, right? So this is all familiar. Okay, then take your old corn chips. Maybe they're stale, maybe they're not. It doesn't matter. Put them in here. Totally simple. And then... I'm going to try to use measuring spoons since uh, you probably want to reproduce this, but let's see. So we've got about, I don't know what, half full. We're going to put some cumin. We're going to, this is going to be like a Mexican style. So we're going to put like a heaping teaspoon of cumin. We're going to put in some oregano. Let's do two teaspoons of that. We're going to have some hot and spicy mix. You can use chili peppers or whatever you want. This has, what does this have in it? It has chili peppers, kosher salt, watch your salt because corn chips have salt already, garlic, onion, lemon peel, herbs and spices. So I'm going to put in a teaspoon of that, maybe a little bit more, about a teaspoon and a half of that. This is a microplane. It's like a big file for small pieces. It takes the, the rind off of a, it's just a lime. It's got some lime in there, but I'm just going to pull some more of this off here real quick just to give it some punch. This is great for chicken or pork or whatever. We're going to take the rind off about I don't know, a third of a lime, half of a lime. Okay, boom, lime in there, stem in there, and top on here. You can use your other top, this is the one I had in hand. Make sure it's all latched down and pulse. Okay, we're done. Now, this can be used as a coating mix for chicken or pork, like I said. You could also put this into soup to make it thicker. Let me pour it in a pan here so you can actually see it. And again, just from using the leftover tortillas you have, something simple. And there you go, all spiced, ready to go. Again, watch your salt, it smells amazing. So, there's a quick recipe for you. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm Robert Jones. Thanks. Bye.